everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Beyond the Gate with Dustman and Nate. I'm Dustman and with me as always, my dog Nate over here. And uh, we are here with a, a special guest that uh, we have, you know, been waiting to have on the episode, you know, since the beginning. I've been hoping at least, I know Nathan has. We've been uh, waiting to have him on because he's a pro and he's uh, the local king around here. Uh, all the kids always want to see him. Uh, every time I see him at the track, the kids are always around him, you know, so we'd like to know more about him, and I know you guys do too, so let's get into it. So on this episode, we've got professional BMX racer, Elijah Juan Davis. How you guys doing? And back again, we've got Stefan. How you guys doing? Um, so we could probably start this off with who your sponsors are. So I ride for Colt and Griminals. Uh, I'm also sponsored by Fly Racing. Been um, riding their helmets, gear, and all that since about 2009. Uh, I ride Onyx Wheels as well. They support me. I support them. But yeah, pretty much Colt and Griminals and Fly. Mm -hmm. right. And how long have you been racing pro for? I've been racing pro. This would be my um, would it be my 11th or 12th season. I turned pro in 2011, um, which was my first year. Uh, it's 2021, so whatever year that is, 11 or 12, I uh, started racing back in 2000, when we were 11. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, mm -hmm. uh, Killing it. So what actually got you, you know, I've known you for a long, long time. Long time. But I don't even know what actually got you into the BMX, like, I don't know what got you there. Okay, so, uh, let's see. I was always, like, intrigued by, like, motorcycles and stuff, because my dad, growing up, my dad had, like, a crotch rocket. Mm -hmm. So I, was, I always rode bikes early on see kids in the neighborhood back in the 90s that were riding dinos and stuff like mm -hmm. that, right? So I would see BMX a lot. And you'd turn it on TV back in the day, and you'd see uh, BMX sometimes on the weekends, and you'd yep. see motocross. So I used to grow up, like, watching that. And then lo and behold, when I was uh, seven, I lived in Rockford. Mm -hmm. My dad was driving us down the road one day. We came by the BMX track, and I just remember seeing the first turn, and he kind of, like, pointed out in the car. So the first time we ever went there, I was seven. And uh, we rode, and I'll never forget, like, the mile and a half street that we rode down. Mm -hmm. Felt like it took me forever, because I was <laughs> anticipating to get there so much. Yeah. Right? yeah. I turn around, that road's like, now when I grow up, it's like a mile and a half long. It probably took right. 10 minutes to get down, right? But, <laughs> so we get to the track, and that was the first time. So I was super intrigued by it, and then um, come, that was, uh, let's see, first grade. So by the time I got to fourth grade was when I ran into that movie Rad. I right. ran into it right. at the, uh, yeah. yeah, right? Mm -hmm. I ran into Rad at like the Blockbuster when I was staying the night with a friend who was like a, also a BMX enthusiast in elementary school. We used to set up like tracks at the park and just race circles. Oh, yeah. To the wood chips yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sketch, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. And so I uh, found Rad and I was like, oh man, this is pretty cool. So that was when I figured out like you could race. Mm -hmm. But in, this, in the movie, there's that scene, no sponsor, no racy, which is where right. they make the sponsor so that he can get a race, mm -hmm. so he can get to race. So I was under the impression you had to be sponsored. Right. So my my dad's my dad had a motorcycle as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. There was a guy that owned a motorcycle shop, Pete, and he owned a, he owned a Rockford team that was called Pete Cycle Sport, and they'd be in competition. I don't know if you remember this. No, it was so long ago. I don't. It was a motorcycle shop, and they would compete for like Team of the Year with Bob's Bike Shop and mm -hmm. all the and all the bike shops and stuff like that. Well, by the time I figured out that he had a team, I asked him if I could be on his team because my dad said if you want to race, you got to ask Pete. So he made me call him on the phone. Right. I stood in the kitchen, called Pete. He was like, oh, yeah, we're actually done with the team. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, and in my mind, I'm like, oh, shoot, I can't race. Mm -hmm. So then I'm just like, I found out about the skate park. So I found out about the skate park. I was like, oh, this is really hard. Like, mm -hmm. I like the track a little bit more. Right, right. But then two years go by, and the way that I got into it is on my 11th birthday, which was October 13th, 1999. My mom took me to Shosie's, which was another local bike shop mm -hmm. in Loves Park, Machesi Park. And we bought a bike from Garrett Rapp. Yes, and Chris... Mm -hmm. Was his name Sanchez? He was another guy that yeah, raced on the local scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was a ripper, bro. He was like, you know, 1927X or something yeah. like that, but he was yeah. fast. So I bought that bike and it came with a free 30 day membership. But they told us that the season had just got over because it's always over the second week of October. Right. So they're like, it starts in April. They were like, oh, there's racing in Wisconsin. And my mom, like, travel, right? right. And she's like, yeah. for, for sports. We didn't know anything about that, so they were like, well, we'll just wait till April. So my mom said, we'll go out there. So I'm just waiting. I had a season, the calendar on the refrigerator, counting down the days. <laughs> I'll never forget, it was April 16th, 2000. I came out to the track. I rode a Pro XL, Schwinn Superstock 2. I was 11 years old. It had 28 
inch uncut, uncut bars. I had 180 millimeter cranks. I don't even run 180s right now. <laughs> that was 11. That was crazy. And I met you, and you had the inch and three eighths. So I was under the assumption because you remember Austin. Mm -hmm. This is my friend that got me to BMX. Austin yeah. Lycan. Yeah. Austin Lycan. Yeah. You guys race. You guys both won nationals. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I had you to race who already won. Austin, you guys were winning nationals, and I'm novice, but I was under the assumption that the expert kids rode the skinny ones. Yeah, right. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, they have like, a like, different, like, yeah. they ain't gonna lock it, like, it's a level. <laughs> so I started watching you guys, and that's how I started. I remember you had been on, like, if I'm not mistaken, co factory Diamondback or yep, something in that effect yep, the year yep. before, and you were on yep. Kegels. Yep. But this is how good. Your number was 11. Yes, it when was. We, when we were 11 and Austin was number 7. Yeah, it was 11. And yeah. I was number 900. I was like, yo, I yeah, suck. I, <laughs> I know, I, yeah, that was, 900. I'm like, there's only 250 people. How'd I get the number like 900? I thought I was bad, right? Right. So I'm so bad. They gave me negative two people six times. Yeah. So I'm waiting for my number to change. I'm thinking week to week. Come to find out it's a yearly thing. But right. like, whatever. So that's how it all started. And uh, I was, I went through novice and... I got second, or I won my first moto, and then I got second in my first main. I still remember like throwing up before and after the races, because mm -hmm. you don't realize how tired you're gonna be. Like, but he still does that. Oh yeah, after all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. If you're not throwing up, you're not going hard enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I say. Right? Ain't trying. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I just remember all that. I turned in immediate after seven weeks, and man, I got whooped. And I turned right before Midwest. That was my experience. So it was just like, yo, some of these kids are almost expert. Like I had just started. I was racing for two months I got man I was like hello started seeing you guys mm -hmm. racing like experts so I was seeing like like double A pros and stuff and it was just like eye opening so at that point I was hooked and it took a long time to even turn expert mm -hmm. and then it took a long time to start being competitive right. with you guys and expert and then it took a long time to go to that next level at the national scene and then like you know get you know it's yeah. just a process that's just well that's one of the things that people don't understand like that you don't just jump into expert and do good no, no. I mean some people can I mean some people but it's not like most of the time it's like it's, it's like it's younger work. it's but most of the time when someone's going to jump into something at a high level and do well it's because there's a it's like usually someone that's younger yeah right yeah. if you're already so like competing yeah, with if you're people, so old it's not even that if you're old but if you're competing with people who have or like been soaking things up like a sponge for 10 years and then you start and you're already older it's kind of like learning a new language like the kids can learn it faster than oh, you yeah. Yeah. right so yeah. i was fortunate enough to get in at 11 i think because mm -hmm. i mean should i like to still be blooming to this day right. which means i've been progressing but it took a long time and everything takes a long time i've been riding for so my 22nd season yeah i love it more now because like the freestyle aspect of it and everything and it's just fun dude right you right. know so right. that's how it started just yeah. started at rockford rockford yeah. bmx yeah, chase, trying to chase you and open, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that you was in Austin. Good time. And Kyle Northrup. Yeah, yeah, Kyle Northrup was. Yeah, he was super fast back then. Him mm -hmm. and Austin were like my main competitor. Austin would win the national. Like he beat Cayman Benetti, who was Nag One World Champion. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and Austin, Austin beat him the first day, and they got second the second day. So he was consistent. But Austin, you used to fall all by yourself. Yeah, once so we got a little bit older, he got all yeah. by himself. Mind you, he only raced till we were fifteen, which is wild. But like after about twelve, he started yeah, blowing bro. up. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> he'd be smoking us, and all of a sudden he just crashed. Yeah, just that's how it kept happening. Right like, the last one. Right, right. No, mind you, I'd never. Like, we raced, and you and I grew to the point where you and I were competing, and I beat you, and you beat me, but I never got to the point of beating Austin until the last race that we ever raced, which mm -hmm. was the state championship, when we were 15. I was hole-shotting. I don't know how. Messed up the first straight. Went from, uh, I went from first to eighth on the jump after the mm -hmm. pro double. Yeah. And Matt, Matt Thompson was there. Yeah, and you, Thompson, and, and Yes, and Austin was winning, and you were in second, and you swooped Austin, and Austin crashed. That was the only time I ever beat Austin, and that was the last time he ever raced. I was yeah. like, what the heck? I yeah. never got to beat him. I do remember Because in the following summers when we were 16, when I would started mm -hmm. to come about, if you will, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It didn't happen until we were 16. Right. Since you've been racing so long, I know there's got to be a ton of national stories. So, like, let's start off with like, what was your first national you won and got in the main? Okay, so uh, my first expert national is 14x. I, I made it out of motos. I got whooped in the quarters. I think Dusty made the mains that year. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the following year, we were 15. I just remember Chris Fox being there, Josh Oi. I made it out of the motos again. Made it to the quarters. Didn't make it out of the quarters. Dustin made the main. And then uh, when we were 16 was when I started getting a little more competitive with Dustin, and then we started to go back and forth, and I started learning, uh, cutting my teeth, if you will, yeah. because of Dustin. Honestly, because Austin had just quit. Kyle wasn't around anymore. And there was other people that were coming up, but 
Dustin was the only one that was on that level yeah, at the like time. Getting to race him all the time at like local. Every level. weekend it was just like a running. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah and I'm doing that say, right now. Yeah, I'm doing yeah, that right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. I he we jumped in with me. He yeah. pulled me down the first straightaway. You're but it's but it's a whoo, you know, especially like if you quote don't know how to race as well because some people are fast and some people are racers. Some people are fast racers. Some people have smart. Smart. Yes, there's That's like a tactic. So I didn't know how to be out front because I hadn't been out front since I was like, you know, 14. Mm -hmm. And now I'm racing you and I'm like, okay, well, how do you keep someone? Like, how do you close? How do you not crit? So I'm learning all this stuff from racing Dustin, honestly, which was week in and week out. And that took my mental to another level because I watched him like dominate mm -hmm. people. And I was just like, well, if he can beat most of them and I can beat him, well, then if this, then that, yeah. I've got to be in that. So yeah. it kind of like helped big time. Yeah. You know, you're fighting a fighter every weekend, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah. 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 I appreciate For sure. it. For sure. So uh, it was Midwest 2000, and uh, give me a second. To, uh, going in this, it was after um, I was 16, it was after sophomore year. So it was summer 2005. Yeah, we were 16. I missed, I was doing well in the motos the first day. I remember I used to like practice Wednesday, race Thursday, mm -hmm. race Friday. Mm -hmm. And then, like, huh. you know, when you're yeah, like, you're yeah. just, like, trying Racing to all the every, pre -race yeah, and every yeah, practice, yeah. like, like, the whole the time. Like, the big dogs would do it. Yeah, yeah but you'd be there open, you could see the big dogs, right, I don't know right. you was there. You'd be there in practice, uh, like, I mean, You know what it is, it's all, men it's a yeah. mental thing, even when you're a child. It even, is. You know, you're just trying to, quote, flex. Right. <laughs> just yeah. let them know you're here. Yeah, and I mean, huge mental game. Yeah, exactly, so, push of the local, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, uh, Saturday, I remember I missed the main, and I was like, alright, it's all good, like, I was in the mix. So, the next day, I make the main. Dustin's in the main. One more time. This is uh, after sophomore year, so 0304, 0405. Yeah, June, uh, Midwest 2005. I raced for Bob's Bike Shop. I had the lime green. Oh, this no, is on yeah. transit. Yeah. Yeah. This is on yeah. transit. Yeah. Which number? Number five, man. Is it transit five or seven? It's one of the two. Seven. Is it seven? Seven. Yeah. The yeah. one where you're on yeah. Bob's yeah. and you're on yeah. Kegels. Yeah. Yep. Yep. First turn car. Yeah. Yeah. I hit the gate horribly. <laughs> yeah, right. Dustin smacks the gate. I get out, you like know, always. like decently or whatever. I was on the outside and I was surrounded by, like, uh, I remember. It was maybe like Jay Green. Yeah, you were stuck in like gate eight, weren't you? Seven or seven or eight. You, yeah, you were stuck seven. way wide. Yeah, eight, and I yeah. remember Joey Berthium and um, uh, War McDowell were on the inside. Yeah, yeah. They and they were just hosing. Yeah, Chris Fox was in that main. All that stuff. So Brandon Lang was the other local. Let's yeah. get credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. gonna say. I'm yeah. pretty sure Brandon Lang. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So it was the three of us, and we raced all you know all the time. So I just remember coming out of the gate and like gate dropped, and I remember just like I was like, oh, it's just like it's a race, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, they're in front of me, so I just try to figure it out. And we go yeah, into the first turn, <laughs> and sure enough, the kid with the brakes that were taped into yeah. the house, the barrel, yeah, then he right. came in and smoked me. So I thought Ooh. I was gonna be able to get in deeper, you know, but I think I ran into somebody. It's so okay. good. You know, like and then you come and just run me over. I'm like, man, so, I said I seen it was you, and I'm like. Yeah. Brandon was yeah, the local that made it out and yeah. did the best out of the three yeah, of us, which I'm is like, like a bragging right. You yeah, know? you know, I'm yeah. like, of course, you know, but. You so know. I was just like, I looked over and I was like. Yeah, I was like, like oh, well. bro, yeah. <laughs> I wish I would have been more patient, and I was super, super. You were just in the moment a lot when we were younger. Yeah, 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 when I was younger, like I did not wait. If I seen that, spot, you just go. I'd, I'd yeah, dude. Because you can set it up so much better. You wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe they're just, no, maybe they're just there. You yeah. think yeah. you just think it's there. <laughs> but yeah, you know. So that was yeah, that was that first time. So I remember I got like you know seventh or eighth or something like that, but I was stoked, and then um. I only went to one national a year, which is Midwest, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. I wasn't even doing anything right. at them. So I finally made the main. It was like, well, do I go to another national? I'd been to the Grands when I was intermediate, but I hadn't been anywhere other than Minnesota while I was intermediate. Right. So the next year, like a full 365 days later, we raced Midwest 2006 when we're 17. And that was mm -hmm. when I got picked up by Neil Banks and Revolution. I appreciate that opportunity, Neil. Um, they gave me a chance because they picked up my, my like my best friend D. Yeah. Remember they picked yeah. up D. Yeah. Yeah. And D was a year younger, and I was, I mean, it was me, you, and D yeah. at the time. And Jordan was under us, but we were the three fastest kids oh, on the yeah, track. For sure. So I remember I'm like thinking like, man, I need a chance. I need a chance. So mm -hmm. I went to Neil humbly, and I was like, Mr. Banks, if you let me like get a chance, I'll wear the uniform for the weekend, right? And let me see if like I can ride at the caliber that you think. You know, I was 17, it was 17, 18. Right. Upshaw was there, Herman was there, you were there. Yeah. Joe Sowers, Chris Fox, uh, right? Yeah. Jeez, it was yeah. that yeah. class, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, everybody. Class. Yeah, everybody. The, uh, Nick Long was still 16. Yeah, because I was 17, mm -hmm. Nick was still 16. Yeah, yeah he had, yeah. like, that next year he won I the think Lee title. Lewis was in there. Lee, uh, when I was, no, Lee was still younger than us because we were 17. Oh, yeah, he was with Nick. Yeah, yeah, he was racing Nick all the time. Yeah, the whole time. Him and Joey Bradford, too. Yeah, yeah. So I made that main there that year on Saturday and I was for the first time constantly at the front 
of the motos, the front of the pack, and mm -hmm. I remember I was like, man, I'm beating fast, dudes. Yeah. I was slingshotting the gate, just running down the first yeah, straight, the you know? Track, oh, oh, oh just pacing, bro, you know, <laughs> just doing your thing. It, so it's starting to come around, and I remember I was getting in, in the motos in the quarter, and I got in the semi, and I get back there, and it's the first main. Because that, that 16X main was like, you know, something, but then you're 17, 18X, yeah. they're 17, just like you, and then there's the 18 year old kids yeah. in your mind, yeah. you've never, and I had never, shoot, I'd only been in one you other main think, event. Right, you just watched them before. Yeah. I, like, remember, I, got, I got one age group of fast, yeah. there's two put together. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, it was like one on eight, one on seven that were going to like try to beat me up in my mind is what mm -hmm. I thought, right? So mm -hmm. I remember coming to you like, behind stage and like, Dustin, bro, how do you, like, how are, are you comfortable? <laughs> you're like, I'm fine. Yeah. I was like... Dude, I'm so scared. I said, <laughs> That's remember, that mental, man. You're like, you're like, dude, you made it through all the motos and blah, 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 blah. And I looked at you and I was like, I remember I looked at you before the gate too and you were like, just yeah, go. Yeah. I was like, yeah, because if I don't, I'm going to die. I right, felt like. Right, you know right, right, right. I remember that. Yeah. I remember trying dude, to calm me down. Oh, my keep gosh. It, and I, keeping your mind. I got in there and I'll never forget I was on the inside. It was like two. And I was just like so fidgety. And I was like, yo, when they say it, just sling and run. I'd rather hit the gate then sit back and get right, cut off. Right, right, So I came out hot, and I remember I was like, you gotta be kidding me, and I'm looking down sprinting, and we're going to the 30 foot line, and I had a really good pop. It was just like the most angst thing I've ever had in my life at that time. And we're getting to the 30 foot line, between 30 foot line and the drop off, and Herman is coming, and I can see Herman, like the orange. Come and I can and just coming fast, yeah. and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's getting close, and I can yep. feel like he's really pulling me, but he's mm -hmm. behind me, he's gonna walk past mm -hmm. me. And he tangled with Upshaw. And then everybody hit, like yeah. six dudes fell, and it was, no, five guys fell before yeah, the first jump. Them, yeah. And it was me, you, and Sowers were still up. <laughs> Dude, yeah. we hit the turn. I was so mad. And it was the first time I'd ever seen like a race disqualification because mm -hmm. the down three riders before yeah. the first stop. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm like, wait, they're stopping us? Yeah. Like, are you? No, I'm I, 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 I was so <laughs> scared after that. We, oh. we had such a good chance of. Beating some of the yeah, best, some of the best bro, names at the time. It was just to the fell, but at the same time, I'd have been happy to yeah, say I'd be, you dude. Know, I'm <laughs> all of them in the same lap. You know? So I had that pop, and I remember just being like, yo, mentally at that point, I was like kind of shot in my mind. I'm like, just, just, just like, you can do it again, you can do it again, can you do it again? Right. I remember right. thinking that. Yeah. So I get up there, and what happens? I smoke the gate, I get, you know, I, Yeah, like the nerves, like the first time was like, you know, I can, all right, I can handle yeah, it. The second, second time, time was like, like way they more. They ice the like, kicker, like, essentially. They yeah, call the yeah, timeout, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I remember I hit the gate, I get seventh, and I came across the line and just skidded, like skidded all the way across the finish line, put a flat spot in my tire. I remember I was like, oh man, I don't even know if I got money to fix the tire. <laughs> so long story short, that weekend I got picked up, and Neil, like a applauded me or kind of like a uh, what is it like gave me the opportunity to be sponsored he was mm -hmm. like yeah you can I think we'll take you on board so I was like man so I'm riding with Shane Banks Riley Banks there was like Andre Norris there was a bunch yeah. Jake Sherbno yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Sherbno sure, was, was nasty yeah. Shane, Shane was good too. Shane yeah. was yeah Shane yeah, got yeah. second at the Grands yeah. in 2006 like the year before it was yeah, five that was, that was yeah months. Mm -hmm. but um so that was when I remember I went to the track like the following day and Mr. Whitfield Tyler Whitfield's dad was out there he used to call me Debo all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Debo! Mm -hmm. So he calls me over. He's like, hey, do you want to go to Las Vegas? And I, Because Tyler was on the team. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, do I want to go to Las Vegas? Like, what do you mean? I've never, like, what? I've only been to two national right. other than the Grands. <laughs> so he's like, yeah. And Neil said, if you come with him this weekend, come with us to Minnesota, race the national. I'm like, oh, shoot, I get to race the national there. He's like, yeah, and then you can go to Kansas, stay with them in Kansas, ride the tracks out there. Kansas and Missouri, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I get to go on like a little vacay and stay with some BMX. It was the first time I got to like road trip, if you will, right? And go to somebody else's track. I'd never been to anybody else's track. Mm -hmm. Like I've been to Elgin a couple times. Yeah. I've been to two nationals, you yeah. know, the Grands in Minnesota, but like I'd never really right. been anywhere. And I was I was 17. I've been racing for that was my seventh season, and I had only been to like a handful of track. Like you know what I mean? Right. So yeah. I get to go to Minnesota, and that was when I got my first national win. And I remember, like, I came out of the gate, I like, that. like I got, <laughs> yeah, in 06, I got, like, the whole shot, and I was like, yeah, be kidding me. Dennison Smith, rest in peace. Dennison was there. Mm -hmm. Josh yeah. Study, who was eventually Nag One, was yeah. there. Yeah. And uh, I came out of the gate, and I remember, I was like, oh, my gosh, I won. And when I crossed the finish line, the first thing I thought was, like, is something going to change? Yeah. And then you realize, like, no, you got to try the same thing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So then when you win, you realize, like, there actually is nothing 
that you're even there, you're racing regularly. Yeah, yeah. no, it's just like right. even yeah. when you get there, you realize or whatever there is, because the there is only like a perception until you get right. there, and then right. you're that, and you're like that's not even a thing. Right. Yeah. So it's just like man, I gotta try this all over again tomorrow. They don't just give me the win for the. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So the next day I make it through, and I get to the main, and I, like, got a good enough gate. And who got their first national win yeah, that next that day? That was me. Yeah. And you got it on no, Sunday. So it, was, it was Rockford local both days. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, Minnesota. Yeah. First, first one. Yeah, seventeen, and we were both seventeen. Yeah. yeah. So you got, I got first on the first day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Saint Cloud. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. So it was before that they even crazy, the track. Mm-hmm. So I won on the first day. You won on the second day. And I pulled the third. And I remember I was like, man, I can, I can do it. Yeah. And that was yeah. when it like, and then eventually I went to the grands and stuff that year, but got. Yeah, oh, like, that was like, jeez. That, 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 <laughs> that was the second time I was in the uh, magazine. The, it was the what, ABA. PMX was back, back then. Yeah. Yeah. You made the Elgin National yeah. Magazine. I did too. My handlebar and my number plate were in it. They put yeah. my name. I was That's like, yo. Like, it was getting me crashing. Yo, we're always. killing me. <laughs> yeah. I, I, they, they got me, I'm, I'm like crashing like all sideways, like up against the berm. Yeah. 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 Uh, they didn't even say my name either. They were just talking about how the track was peeling up. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, because they like, sealed yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like laying yeah. with my face against it. You know, it was pretty yeah. cool. So that's the first time I made the national main event and the first time I won a national main event. It wasn't until I was 16 to make, it took me until I was 16 to make one. It took me until I was 17 to win one. Yeah. And it definitely like helps to like, once you do like yeah. make the main and then start winning on the, like the affirmation of just like doing it, letting you know you're there. It's a great feeling. Well, it's, it's essentially yeah. like a, a, a staged fight, if you will. So once you fight someone, if you fought them before, you know that like right. okay they beat you, but you've also beat them. So now you know it's yeah. not like they're this gladiator that you can't mm-hmm. overcome. Right. right, and they're looking at you the same way because it goes back and forth, and it's yeah. not ever except for when you're a kid and you don't have that mental. Typically, it's not just like one overpowering. I mean, you know what I mean? People go back and forth right. because they're right. like skilled. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you have the mentals, you can bounce back from someone taking you out. You know, roll back. Mm-hmm. And it's just like a fight. You, know, you got sure. me on this one. You roll back, get him on the next one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so personally, I have one memory that sticks in my mind about you. Personally. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. So I was, I was probably sixteen, maybe no, maybe younger. Give me the year. It was when you were eighteen, I okay. believe. I believe so that would have been oh seven. Yeah. So this is this is when you were getting really fast, getting to the top of your class, and I remember you hole shotting to the first turn <laughs> oh. at Rockford National. And sliding out in the turn, and you just get up and you hold your helmet, and you're just in awe. Okay, take me through that experience. Okay, so that was uh, the following year after uh, we were 17, 18. We were 18 that next year. I can remember you were still racing. Mm-hmm. You were still racing when we were 18, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I quit after my dad died in 08. Yes, so that was when we were 19. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember. Rest in peace. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a good dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it's great dude. He definitely used to push me, boy. <laughs> he, did. he used he to did. tell me to quit being soft and he, leaving the door open. Yeah. I used to be like, <laughs> he, used to talk to you. he used to talk about you all the time to me, man. Like he'd be telling me, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get him to get you, and I'm like, yeah. you're like, wait, what? He, he was just trying to sharpen you. Yeah, dude. He was like, he's my dad. My dad's coming up and telling me, I'm telling the last one, I'm gonna take you out. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad was just trying to have right. me be iron so I could sharpen yeah, you, yeah. and then you would sharpen yeah. me, and then we, and that's what happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're thirty-two. Well, are you thirty-two yet? Yeah, oh, it'll be I'm, thirty-two I'm in April May. 3rd. April, okay. Yeah. So I'm thirty-two. Mm-hmm. I mean, you show up at the track. With all due respect, you can beat everybody, and everybody could get you too, but you can still beat everybody. Right, right. right? When we were young, how I many thirty-two-year-old dudes did you know like that? None. None, right? None, right. because by the time we were sixteen, we were walking everybody, mm-hmm. walking everybody that was around us. You know, oh, I mean, yeah. other than Lundy, and that's because we were racing each other. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So like, we were getting fast, Elkhorn. and then the, yes, Elkhorn was a close quarters, bro. If, you, if a, you cleared that first turn, you were like, "Pooh, I can yes. almost go home safe." I, I remember. <laughs> I remember every weekend going to Elkhorn, just nervous. I do. Me Man, too. I, I swear, I'd be in practice, and if I didn't see you, I'd be looking for you, bro. I'd oh, like, same here, bro. D would call me out. D would call me out. Come, I'd be like, "Oh my!" Oh, it was I'd totally. You were like, I, you didn't have to fight as yes, hard. You yes. could fight more freely, is what mm-hmm, you felt like. It was. You know how it is. It was. And it was the same thing. I remember one time I was I talking to Dean. Yeah. We're at the local track and we're all hyped to race. And then he's racing Johnny Katie, you know, so he's got, yeah. he always had to be on yeah. his. Yeah. And then you pulled up. And I was like, oh, yeah, D, I, I think I might just pull out. He was like, oh, he starts jocking on me, right? He's like, you're scared because Dustin rolled up. He's yeah. like, race him. I remember when he called me out how good that was. Right, right. right. So I was like, man, 
he's right. Right. I didn't want to have to, but you're yep. just like, all right, well, if D's about to go out there and swing a nag one, because Johnny Katie was nag one on Cruiser yeah. and top ten nag on class all the time. Yeah. Uh, I got Brandon Lang and Dustin. Let's go. Like, it was just like, let's go. Yeah. Because you were there to race, too. Yeah. You weren't yeah. going to just back down. Yeah. I, I mean, I was, I was, felt like I had to pee every time I every got time. Game, <laughs> But at the same time, I didn't show it. You know? No, and once that gate dropped, it was free. Yeah. You're like, all right, let's, let's fight. Yeah. Let's fight. Yeah, for sure. So back to the question. Yeah. That take, next me, year, take me back to this experience. So we're 18. <laughs> it's the following year, and I'm, I remember I'm in the moto, and they're like, they're, you know, Jim's calling my nickname now. He's starting to realize who I am, because that winter, I had got two seconds at the Tennessee National. And then I saw Stefan at the Guthrie National, and I was like, yo, Stefan Fahey is what I called him. Everybody <laughs> yeah. called him. Yeah. I was like, Stefan's fast? And Stefan was 13 yeah. in, in yeah. Uh, February of two, or January of 2007. Yeah, and um, 13 or 14. Yes, but you were hitting the pro section. Yeah, yeah. And it was a huge, like, it wasn't as, as much of an advantage as it was in 06 because it cut off like 90 feet or something yeah. in 06, but in 07 it was still a huge event, and he it, was taking it. the bender, right? It, no, that was uh, 2008. Inside turn. 2000, yeah, but not the one where it like wrapped around the back the first yeah, year. Correct. You took, correct. yeah, yeah. You took the one that was like, yeah. Nonetheless, he was like one of the youngest kids, right? Right, so, right. Jim's starting to realize my nickname at that point, so we're at Rockford. Back to Rockford. Sorry, the mm -hmm. question. I can tell no, you, but I'm right there. You're good. <laughs> so I'm starting to go, and I remember Nick Long was 17. Lee Lewis was 17. Nick was about to win his first amateur title that year. Dennison Smith was there. He was rolling. Josh Myers. Let me think. Was 18. Josh was, if I was 18, Josh was 19. Yeah. So, but he, so he, he was there, but he was a class up. Mm -hmm. So in 07, it was Nick, Lee, Dennison. There's a kid named like Eric Smith or something like, you know, he's fast kid from like Washington. He was really fast. Or was you. Eric Meyer. Eric Meyer it was. Yes, yeah, that was on the, um, on the, on the. He wrote the Thor stuff. Yeah. You remember? Oh, like, he's sponsored by yeah. Thor. Yep, Eric Meyer. I, yeah. I had him on the, uh. Blonde area with glasses. Yeah, he's got the moto seat at the crib. That's yep. so funny. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, we're in that moto and I, you know, it was that weekend and the first day I had gotten a fourth and I was like, I can't remember if I, yeah, Jacob Shira was in that Corbin's older brother, yeah. and I remember it was me, him, and Corey Cook doing something. And Corey Cook was there, yeah. yeah. We were doing something in the second turn, and I came out, and it was like really like I don't re for whatever reason I don't remember before the second the second turn. So usually I remember like most stuff. Right. I don't remember anything in that moto other than to the second turn because it got real like oh my gosh what's gonna happen? And I made it out of like some carnage, but Corey Cook got in front of me, and I was like oh my gosh that's Corey Cook from Redmond. I almost and I got around Jacob Shira, <laughs> so now I'm in fourth. Well, I'm coming down the third straight. I go around the last turn, get down the last straight, and I'm like, I'm there, I'm there. I get over the, it was at the time, it was the camel. Or it was yeah. the, I think it was still the camel at the time. So I get over the camel, and I'm starting to cruise in, and I'm checking underneath my bars to see if there's anybody there, you know? And I feel this presence, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I start sprinting, and I get to the line, and I look down, and it was Nick. And I'm just like, oh, man. And then I looked in, you remember MJT? I see the photo. Yep, yep. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, because Nick got fit that day. This is just matter of fact. It's like right. racing. People go back and forth. So the following day, and this is just one of those moments you start to realize because like you're, you're thinking like they are out there. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you're back here. Yeah. So it's kind of like this like ironic moment. I'm going up the quarter or the semi and Lee, me and Lee are jo I'm like joking around and he's laughing. So I'm starting to get become like friends. I'm starting right. to realize they're t talking to me. Right. So you're starting to become like a little more confident because you don't feel like you're outside anymore. Mm -hmm. Like outside of the circle. Yeah. So I remember saying something to Lee, he's laughing. I'm like, oh, okay, he's laughing. I mean, that's cool. Like, okay. Because like, right. in your mind, you don't know. You're just trying to, I, I didn't get to go around. I didn't know if they remembered me. I, I mean, I'm different. But like right. in my mind, I still just <laughs> acted like I was the same. Yeah. Right. Because I am. Like, I don't know if they remember me. Well, I mean. I'd be a motofill. Like, I don't know if they know who I am. Yeah, dude. When we were young, I, 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 nag riders, bro. They it was a nag rider. Yes. Because yeah. you weren't there. Yes. But once was, you yeah. got there, yes. you realized it wasn't anything. Right. Yeah. Like, it was like they were, you know. Just, they were kids. Like, superstars. But they were kids. Right. Yeah. Once, so that's what it was. Like, you know their name. That's what it was. It was like, right. why do I know their name? And then you realize, okay, they're knowing my name. Well, how would they not know my name? I see them like, you know, five times a year. I said, mm -hmm. I talk to him in the race. Right. Talk to him in the motors. So I'm sitting there talking with Lee and Nick's on top of the hill and he says, Nugget, which is my nickname. And I'm just like looking up at him. So in my mind, he's, he's a, Nick's a phenomenal racer. He's the captain. He's the best BMX. This is just like a coming of age. Right. So I'm looking at Nick on top of the hill and he's about to win his first title that year. And this is Sunday at Rockford 07. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at him. He says, are you in my, se which semi are you in? And I said, oh, I'm in the, you know, the first or second one. And I knew he wasn't in my semi. In my mind, I'm like, Phew. 
He's not in my summer. Right. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking. Right. And he's yeah. up there and I'm down here still in my mind kind of thing. And he's talking mm -hmm. to me and he goes, which summer are you? And I tell him, he's like, oh. And I was like, so I make the inquiry. I say, why? And he's like, because you're going fast. <laughs> and I was just like, Word. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's like you recognize your like yeah. you realize like bro in that moment I literally walked up the hill because so I was like maybe I should just get level with them and look at what I look like, right. to be like yeah so I walked up there in my mind I'm like yeah, let me walk up and talk to him. Dude, I remember, <laughs> I remember going, oh, yeah. he was next to me in the gate at Grand's and I you know he shook my hand but he crushed me. Bro. He just, I'm like and I was sure I'm always yeah, the saw, smallest. Saw, yeah, yeah. I'm always the smallest. And always have been in the group, you know. And I'm looking up this dude, and I'm just like, yeah. and he crushed me. I'm like, I'm, I'm done with the race, and I'm still here. Like, my hands, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm do I didn't realize because I wasn't like the the lifter. I didn't work out like that. Yeah, you know? so yeah. I wasn't strong. You know, I was just fast on a bike. Yeah, and you were a racer. Mm -hmm. You're a racer. Mm -hmm. You're a fighter. Yeah. yeah. So we get up in that semi. I remember I raced the semi. And I get like, you know, whatever. I transfer out. So here's the moment. Nick had lane one. Um, Dennison had lane eight, or Lee had lane eight. One or the other, and then the other one had six, because I had seven. And I remember I was like, man, every time Lee gets next to he's me, because he slingshots, yeah, and so do yeah. I. Yeah, but he's fast. Out and what it was was, when you're a slingshotter, because everyone would, like, Pull your, back, your rhythm nice. would throw them off. But when you were an extra slingshotter, their rhythm threw yours off, too. So you could understand mm -hmm. why they were complaining about yours. But yeah. you still had to fight it because it was free. So I, when I was next to Lee, I had to try. Yeah. But a lot of times I would forge my gate next to him, I remember. Yeah. And and that's the thing. I didn't really put his, his nickname to him until, like, you know, now or, like, That was his fact your formula days. Right. Yeah. Like Lee the Flea, bro, if he didn't, if he wasn't on you, he was, like... I hate you. Yeah, he was either yeah. buzzing on your back door like a flea or flying yeah. around you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, okay, let me get out of this gate. So I remember, I was like, yo, if I can get out of the gate on Lee, I'll be fine. Right, because I'll snap Dennis and <laughs> so I was thinking, like, my rhythm's going to throw him off. Right. So I came out, boom, and I came out, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm going to hit the drop off. There was the, there was the step double to the triple. Yo. I came down the drop off, Nick's on the inside, and I'm thinking, like, if I can, Lundy, which Lundy carved around Beatty in o when we were 16. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> And I was like, yo, if I can just Lundy him from the outside, I can slow him down because he'll get stuck down, he'll come up, and then I'll clear. Mm -hmm. So I'm going down the drop-off, and I just got times. And this made no difference because it was crazy that it happened, but it did not affect me one bit. I pulled onto the step double, tapped, and came unclipped. Landed on the backside, and I was like, oh my gosh, my left foot's unclipped. I rode those like, big BMX shoes mm -hmm. with like the rubber bottoms, yeah. so my foot stayed on the little pedal. And I was thinking to myself, like, I can't pedal. So I just I pumped instead, so I hopped the roller into the next triple and tapped again, and I was like, my foot's still on it, and I leaned, and Nick was right there, and my hip was to his bar. And I remember I was like, if I can clear him, and I leaned into him, and he was smart. He backed and cleared and was coming into two, and mm -hmm. I put my foot on. As soon as I went to go pedal, pedaled the down foot, tire slipped, boom, straight to face. Thank God Nick bunny hopped over my legs in the video, just completely <laughs> cleared the center of me. Went on and won, and that was like a 30-something rider count in the... And, and he dominated so many races thereafter, too. Mm -hmm. And he won that amateur title just, like, hands down. But I can remember that was that moment you were talking about, yeah. and I stood up, and it was the local scene. You know, I was like, I almost won a big one. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and then yeah. everything yeah. in the world, it was yeah. so great. And then I stood up, and I just... I Man, remember the I, place went nuts when they saw you fall. I'll, 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 I, can, I'll never I'll, I had those chrome lipped Oakley goggles. You remember them? Yeah. And I remember I was. Look, I can still remember looking out and just like I could see my mom, and I was just like mother, and I yelled, <laughs> and then everyone looked at me and was like, oh nugget, it's okay. So I bent down and I remember my ankles were bleeding because I was riding in short socks. So I mm. pulled my pants down my ankles and stretched and was like. I hope no one's mad at me for cussing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yep. So that's, that was that moment. That's funny, yeah. that was funny right? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys for watching this first portion of the interview. We've got so much content that we're going to end up breaking this one up for two episodes for you guys. So be sure to like and subscribe. That way you can get the notification. Uh, and tune in next week for part two. Ready to watch the game.